So as I said in my last video, today we're going to be taking a look at the Big Ten and a way too early outlook at which teams are poised for the best position to make a run at a conference championship within the Big Ten. Now, look, the Big Ten it might be the easiest conference to call, right? We've already done the Big 12, in which case we thought OU is going to make it out of the Big 12. They're going to own the Big 12, but that number two position, whoever is going to play OU in the Big 12 conference is going to come down to Iowa State or Texas, conventional wisdom would dictate with Iowa State being the favorite out of that competition. In the Pac-12, we have a rematch of last year, Oregon, USC. In the SEC, even though the acquisition of Gilbert and Bowman moves the needle a little bit for Florida, I still have Georgia representing the East, Alabama representing the West out of the SEC. And now we get to what could be the easiest conference to talk about. But before we get into it, I want to hear from y'all. Do you think that there is anybody, anybody at all in the Big Ten who can even slow down Ohio State this year? Give me a Y for yes and an N for no, and I can't wait to hear from y'all. Y'all, if you're already here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification because with National Signing Day tomorrow and then the draft coming up, I'm going to be doing constant player profile reviews and all the news from National Signing Day, and you don't want to miss any of it, so subscribe, hit the bell notification, like the video, and like I said, drop a comment down below because likes and comments go a long ways in helping YouTube channels like mine get picked up by the YouTube algorithm, and we're on our push to 2,000 subscribers, and I'd love to have you along for the journey. But with all that being said, let's hop straight into it because this might be the easiest call to make out of any of the the conferences. Look, I'm going to get straight to it. Right out the East, I don't think there's anybody that's slowing down Ohio State. So the next conversation we have to have is which team out the East will at least give them the biggest run for their money? I think right now the safe bet is on Indiana. Penn State was not very good last year. And sure, a lot of teams weren't very good last year because it was a COVID year. So much unknown. But that being said, Indiana returns a lot of talent, and I think there are three teams that are going to be vying for that number two spot in the East, and that's the real competition within the Big Ten that I'm looking for this year, is in between these three teams. Indiana, Penn State, and then my super dark horse is Maryland. Now, when I say super dark horse is Maryland, I don't think Maryland is making a conference championship in 2021. That's not what I'm saying. I think that Maryland is a team that is building something, and it's a ways away, right? But they're building the frame of their house right now. And last year, we could look and say, okay, well, it's obviously that they're building a house. There's the frame. And now they have the foundation laid. They kind of have the skeleton up, and they look to continue building the house. And look, they've done it in recruiting. They've done it in the transfer market. Maryland is building something that could compete with a Indiana or a Penn State further down the line, and I can't wait to see how that growth continues in 2021. But let's be honest, they're not buying, oh, they're not pushing Ohio State for that top position. I don't even think they're going to push Indiana or Penn State. So out the East, I think it's very simple. Ohio State is just going to skull drag the rest of the competition. Indiana, Penn State, Maryland are teams to watch simply for the fact of Indiana was good last year. Let's see if they can push Ohio State this year. Penn State was not good last year. Let's see how they improve this year. And Maryland is in the process of building a house, but the house is still a ways from being done. So let's see how much work they get done on that house this year. The West can come down to a few different teams. Personally, I think Northwestern will probably take it. They have gotten a decent recruiting class. They have got a good transfer coming in at quarterback. And look, it's just an incredibly well-coached team. Outside of Northwestern, we have Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Nebraska, Purdue, Illinois. I think we can all agree that Nebraska, Purdue, Illinois, we can go ahead and mark off this list. They're not vying for any conference championship, and they'll be lucky if they vie for a winning record in 2021. So it really comes down to Northwestern, Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota. This is where, on the Big Ten side, this gets fun, right? I don't know how fun the Big Ten is going to be unless you're an Ohio State fan or you're like me and you're really intrigued to see what Indiana, Penn State, and Maryland are going to do unless you are a fan of the West, in which case there is a four-team race for that Western spot between Northwestern, Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and they all have a chance to make it. Personally, I think Northwestern is going to do it because I think they return a lot of very important talent. They're adding in a really good quarterback into the mix and they're they have a decent recruiting class that I think can actually get some work done and help them hold on to that number one spot out the West. And the cherry on top, I think Northwestern is one of the best coach teams in all of the Big Ten. 
I don't know that you can just discernibly say that there are four better coaches in the Big Ten outside of Northwestern's coach. He has done an incredible job with that program. But Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota are no slouch, and they look to be nipping at the heels at Northwestern. So that's something we have got to keep an eye on. But I can't wait to hear from y'all. So, you know, I've already asked you, do you think there's anybody that can even slow down Ohio State? But now, do you also think that there's anybody on the West that is going to overtake Northwestern? Because this is a much harder question to answer, right? Because there are a few different answers that could be correct. Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, all teams that could overtake Northwestern. I'm just hedging my bets on Northwestern. Let me know what you think down in the comments, y'all. That's it. See ya.